Yeah. On the other hand, yeah, always. three children are in that house yeah. and it's a bomb there. Always you have the thing, what do you do? Yeah. <sighs> I know all the arguments, they haven't changed since I was a little kid. Mm. Thank you. Hey, are you interested in some more information about what they're doing here? Just a little bit more information about what they're doing here? I have a lot of What do you think of America's use of torture? I think it's completely wrong and inconsistent with the principles of our founding fathers and our constitution. Thank you, Galen. I think it's wrong, and I think you should also post this not on the blog. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Just post something when I'm a little more prepared and I have an intelligent statement. <laughs> America's use of torture, well, it's a clear policy of the Bush administration. It was going to be pretty obvious what was going to happen after this totally 2000 election and things have just gone downhill from there. Sarah, I have a question for you. So you've heard of Guantanamo Bay, right, and like the detainment camps yes. that the U.S. is holding um, September 11th detainees in. How many people do you think are currently held at Guantanamo? Mm, 150. Huh. Actually, it's 380, if you can believe it. Almost double what you would guess. But now, um, the real thing is a lot of people have accused Guantanamo of human rights injustices partially because um, a lot of the detainees haven't even been charged with a crime and they're just being held there indefinitely because the U.S. thinks that they're suspicious for the most part. Um, how many people would you think are actually charged with a crime at Guantanamo of those 380? Out of 380? Yeah. 80. 80. That's actually a pretty good guess because it's, it's more like 70. I, the most I heard about it was when I went to Philip Zimbardo's last lecture and he talked about um, the evil that was at, you know, detainment camps. And what kind of circumstances do we need before, like, it would be maybe ethically permissible, if ever? Uh, I guess it's theoretically ethically permissible if the use of torture was the only way to save thousands of lives. In the case of the context of the United States and torture, it has not been the case. I know two of Grave and um, Guantanamo Bay. What else do you need to know? And what is your position on um, U.S.'s use of torture? Um, I don't really know that I have a position yet. Uh, I'm inclined to say that I disagree with it. Uh, you think most people? Do you guys think the U.S. is participating in torture? Not that I know of. I'm sure they uh, are. Yeah, probably in Iraq and especially in <laughs> warring times. Well, and just be stupid people, not like the U.S. It, it's a hard issue just because there's certain things that you kind of have to weigh the benefits of. There's lots of people dying or there could be potentially lots of people dying and you need certain information. And so sometimes they feel like that's the only way you can get the information. Do you guys agree with that? Making the choice to torture people? Yeah. No. The Americans um, tortured some Iraqi, um, or they had Iraqi prisoners, and they forced them to the do. Yeah, the pictures that like they thought they were gonna be electrocuted if they were standing on a box, or like they forced them to do some obscene acts and just kind of um, dehumanize them. Annika, what do you consider to be human rights abuses? Um, Serious human rights abuses. Like genocide. Yeah, mainly just like killing people. Say, if you you had the potential to torture one person to save the lives of thousands of people, do you think torture is oh, legitimate? So hard, I can't, I can't give you an answer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, as, I'm abstaining courteously. I think that torture to extract information is. I agree. I feel like it's a difficult question, but I think generally it's wrong. Um, In I what think... cases would you think it's appropriate or right? I think if there was an absolute guarantee that, that the information you would receive would save the lives or would protect a huge number of people, 
then maybe it's ethically okay. But if not, then it's just not. It's not okay to torture someone to extract information. Torture is completely horrible in all cases, and there's no excuse for it in any way. What torture scandals have you heard about in the news, or what what is, what is your what are your views on U.S.'s stance on torture? Um, well, I heard about the scandals in Iraq, um, and I think that was completely horrible. It just violates like all the Geneva Conventions. Victor, what do you consider to be um, serious human rights abuses? Lack of food, malnutrition, uh, depriving people of food, depriving people of um, probably sh uh, shelter, basically basic needs of uh, survival. And what are your views on torture? Oh, I believe torture is generally wrong. Torture is a very complicated subject, uh, and torture has existence, existed from the beginning of time. And I personally don't believe it's uh, right thing to do, but I also don't believe it's going to end anytime soon. What about, um, what do you know about any torture scandals or anything? Do you know of any? I know about um, the one that on Guantanamo Bay. Because I was in the military, I would say that uh, in some cases uh, you have to resort to that because every other country does anyway. It depends why it's being done. But okay. I feel like probably what the U.S. has been doing, from what I know, been taken like to a whole different level. In what cases do you think torture is appropriate? Uh, if it, if you're talking about the torture of one person to save like you know potentially thousands and thousands of lives, but like concrete evidence, like a good idea that 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 would be the you know that's the person to take care of in that kind of a way. Drake, in what cases do you think torture is necessary or legitimate? Really, if you ask me, I don't think torture is necessary in any case, really. It's not, it's not a thing that's humane to do. I wouldn't see any case where it would be humane, even though it was used in the Middle Ages quite frequently with stretching machines and the things of that sort. I just don't see it as uh, useful at all. There's other ways to extract information from people. What I heard was that there's some American soldiers who've been torturing Iraqi people, and... Uh, Really, I can't say I've, I've heard anything past that, and you know, maybe one of the reasons is that the news stations try to cover things up since we are on the American side, but no, I really haven't heard anything else. I Actually, I think torture might be more widespread as it seems to be. Um, it's only in the extreme cases when people are really pulled out um, for what they have done and really being punished for it, but I believe that like, it's more widespread than we might think it is. The only reason they're not reported is because we don't want to, like, we do have an image to keep. So it, it's a good sign that people are highly upset and don't agree with this. It's natural that people are highly upset. If we're not highly <laughs> upset, how would that reflect on us?